Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and we're back on our journey as Orion. I finished, again, I'm, I'm not exactly sure the pronouncer's name, but that's how I think it is pronounced. But he's now the Kraken Slayer. We have our own Valerian Steel Sword. I'm not going to reforge it just yet. Uh, we do have a lot of money, but I want to keep it just in case you never know. We may need some extra men or something for any possible reason. So it's good to keep that there just in case. We can always reforge the steel any time in the future. So that's not something I'm too concerned about. But at the moment, we're with our two brothers. Our two blood High Valerian brothers. We made an oath of brothership underneath a lemon tree where we spilled our blood and shared it together. Just like the Three Kingdoms. But a lot of people have been asking about Dragonstone. A lot of people are asking about a, a little dragon that we saw, the one that was not tamed yet. And people are asking, who was it? Uh, is it Beleriand, etc, etc. And it is the dragon of Magon Targaryen. And it is Beleriand. So, there you go, guys. A lot of people kind of guessed that already. A lot of people already knew it was probably going to be Beleriand because apparently he was with them when they left. And so, there we go. He's a baby dragon, though, only one years old. But he is, of course, strong. That's what you'd expect from Beleriand. So, hopefully he'll grow up to be a grand dragon. You'll probably think about what we plan to do with the Valerian, uh, Targaryens. Obviously, being high Valerian, you'd think I'd want to bring them into the fold. But I think Urian is a little concerned with the Targaryens. There's something different about them. You know, me and my two brothers, we, we lost everything. You know, all our families are gone. But the Targaryens have many members of their family still alive. Oh, I say many, eight members. And they have multiple dragons. That seems kind of dangerous. They seem like a dangerous family. They have multiple dragons, multiple members of their family. If we bring them into our fold, who's to say they can't just take over? They could, they could just rebel or just attack us. And they have more dragons than even the three of us combined. So, yeah, maybe they're not all big dragons. Our dragons may be a little big, you know, especially my mind's probably the biggest at the moment in the world. But still, even with that, that's something we have to think about. It's something we should be concerned about and we shouldn't take lightly. Well, I mean, at least Urion would be. You know, he is an ambitious man. And of course, he does not want someone to get in his way of his ambitions. And he sees the Targaryens as one of them. We'll see, though. We'll leave it for now. Maybe later on he'll change his mind. Maybe he'll bring them into the fold and try to... I'm sure they'd accept vassalization once we take New Valyria. But until then, he's, uh, he's of two minds right now when it comes to the Targaryens. Maybe he feels it might be just easier to destroy them, or even just leave them be for now. But that's his mindset right now. We haven't decided. So with our 15,000 men, we should go and attack New Valeria. Now, where is their so-called triarch of New Valeria? It makes me feel sick having to use New Valeria in terms when it comes to Volantis. How dare they? How dare they take that glorious name and associate the for themselves to take power. Duh, it sickens me. But yeah, we must destroy him. He is in Latnia. Now, I would assume it's somewhere around here, because, uh, you know, he's at war at the moment. Ah, yeah, we can see the smoke there. Yeah, def definitely that place. So the moment he's here, we could... Well, preferably, I would like to go meet Cahor and meet up with their men, because we did bring them in as an ally. So I think we should go up the river. Actually, going up the river can be dangerous. And there is a pirate actually here, as some people pointed out. Um, before I just click on it, there's a pirate in the Rhine. We should probably try and meet it with them. So I'm probably going to come to here. Probably going to go straight to the Gulf of Volantis. And we're probably going to go straight for Old Volantis. Ooh, I don't think we even have enough men to uh, siege it. I actually, now that I think about it, I know with dragons, obviously dragons can basically just completely take a city. But I can't remember if you need to have more men than the defense in the first place. I I'm going to assume you don't, but we'll, we'll check that. If not, though, we're, we're going to go here, and if we can take it, we'll take it. If not, we're going to ride north and meet with their army. So there we go, because he doesn't have any dragons. So it would be good for us to go meet up with him, join his men to ours, and be on our way. Now, on my council. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go. 27th. Okay, there we go. Let's decrease the time now because we're at war. 
We need to be a bit more careful in this situation before just letting time go by. Oh, are you going to go through the smoke and sea? Yeah, we're going to go around the smoke and sea this time. You know, last time we went through there, we met a kraken. Probably not a good idea. Kahor is going to join us. Thank you. And the Valerians have joined us. Now, obviously, we do like them. They did let me marry his daughter. So, you know, we're pretty friendly with him. Maybe we could use him against the Targaryens. I say, this is just his thinking at the moment. Call to arms. We'll call them. Oh, he's got 1,000 men. We'll call them anyway. You know, the more men, the merrier. We just want our allies to prove themselves. Maybe the Valerians can prove themselves to us. He's going to join us as well. Very good. I say, haven't decided about the Targaryens just yet. This is just the mindset I think of Urion. I say, it's not what I would think. Um, but I say, I want to try and roleplay at least a little bit most of the time. And I feel that's what he'd be thinking right now. We've got some men there. Roller worshippers. Is he facing a rebellion? He's not facing a rebellion, so they're just his men. We should probably just cross into here. Just in case it's only 600 men. We don't want to cross into the river and stuff. Let's just get this out of the way. We could probably take this as well. It's probably quite easy. Now, is he going to return back? Because of our sudden attack. Now, he's still over there. Deploy your dragon in the siege. Now, we have a lot of men here, and I think we're just gonna, we're gonna straight to Old Volantis, and we're gonna take that right now. Maybe we can capture his family and show him not to mess with me. Maybe his young son. His guardian, Matares. And he is in a yeah, seven corner of Volantis, where he might be able to capture some of his family. That will show him we mean business. No one takes the term of Valyria. You know, lists. We should bring them in if we could. It'd be cool if you could, like... That'd be some kind of cool if they did, like, in Seeker 2. Like, you can ally to your enemy's enemy. That could be kind of cool. But then again, I guess you're both attacking them anyway. So it's not a big deal. And we can deploy the dragon in the siege, even though we don't have enough men. Which is why I suspected, but I wasn't completely sure. Probably should do it just because, you know, we don't have enough men to take it. Probably our only chance... My dragon. Come on, boy. Elenixus. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe you can do this. Just, just, you don't push yourself too much. We don't want you to die. That would be, uh, that'd be very bad at the very beginning of the series. And here we go. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of the rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe such petty defensive can hold back your fire? Dracarys. Minus 60% morale, he spent losses, um, stern defense, 1% chance the entire populace is exterminated. That would be kind of bad for Volantis. Um, plus, we're going to take this title for ourselves, most likely. Yeah, very low chance he gets hurt. Yeah, he's not hurt at all. He's fine. And we killed most of them. They're mostly gone. We can now take it easy peasy. As it should be. Now, we have dragons. And he's actually gone into hiding. He's realized he's outmatched here. So he's completely put himself in the hiding. He's gone, shit. I'm being attacked from another side. Release all prisoners. Release anybody from whom we have common cause. Where these people are, they smell that they belong here. So we've got this guy in here. Lord Master Donofos. Uh, he's from Lys. Okay. Who's underneath him? I guess we should release them. Yeah. Release all prisoners. Your Imperial Majesty, their leader is not here. Well, that's his family along with us. Yeah, he, you know, he's an ambitious man. He's rough. He doesn't care about what it costs. So there we go. 99%. Well, there we go. That was a pretty quick war. Hopefully his army just doesn't appear out of nowhere. Just uh, deploy the dragon again and have this finished. There we go. Dracarys. God, how, I, for, I always forget how overpowered the dragons are. Every time. Matari's in command's dark cell. I don't care. Very well. Should we must well release him? He can repay me later. Um, I, I mean, he was just the educator for his kids. This guy is not his family or anything. But then again, he's not really important to owe me a favor. We'll just let him rot. He's not important at all. Uh, Benera Targaris is coming in my captivity in a dungeon. And has been muttering amongst your courtiers that perhaps more comfortable confines would be suitable for such a high-born girl. She is, she is a highborn young girl. Ah, same with the other two, I guess. Let her rot. Merciful, suitable habit, the blit. 
Release it, you can repay me later. Would he be merciful to the kids? No, he's proud and angry at them. So yeah, let's say he's he's pushing a bit far. He's just going to let him rot. He's not going to be crazy. He's not you know a cruel man or anything like that. But yeah, he's not taking any chances. And the boy as well. My prison about her dark cells. So the wife of the man I'm attacking, let her rot as well. Um, this man, Master Coloco Keda. SOC Valerian. He's converted to Valerian, which is at least good. It could be good to release him and he owes us, because we will be taking this title. So having some people we can trust here will be good. Yeah, he can replay me later. We'll say that. I think he's an ambitious man. He may be angry, but he's also ambitious. That guy could be useful. He will be a vassal of ours probably soon in the future. This girl, though, she's the second... She's another wife of his. Um... We can have a dark cell. You can stay where you are. I like the fact it seems to be like worded differently a little bit, which is interesting. Uh, same with her. She's also one of his wives. Now, obviously, I can get more wives, but like I said before, I want to keep it to kind of, uh, shall we say, high Valerian girls, which at the moment is just the one I found. I mean, we could check again. No, no other high Valerians. We'll just have to wait. Imperial Majesty, the leader is not here. Um, well, he's a kind of lower guy. But, yeah, we are we are rough, so we'll, we'll put them all in. 99% still. Probably because we haven't fought a battle against his armies. That's probably why. He's got 28,000 men still left. Let's move on, then. See if we can find them. We've got the Valerian men with us from Driftmark. There's an army just down there. Let her rot. Which we will go to attack. 17th of March. We've got them on the 4th of March. We should be able to catch up to them. It will be a very small attack. Only 1,000 men. But we should destroy them. With our dragons, it's inevitable. And we have 100%. Well, that was pretty easy. Which is, like I said, to be expected when you have dragons. I say, I always forget how so overpowered they are. Except. 291 prestige. And there we have it. The Kraken Slayers usurped the title of New Valyria. It is mine, as it should be. Has arrived at my cause. Rhaenyras. Oh! He had a bastard son. Really? When did you have that, you sneaky devil, you? Maker, the oldest one, has had a bastard son, which is really cool, the fact that he's the oldest one in the actual marriage of a son. His son, though, is a roller worshipper. Which is kind of odd. Huh. Doesn't say who the mother is. You tend to, okay. No idea what's going on with him then. But that's really nice to see. I, I like that. That means his family dynasty will at least be able to live on. Hopefully through his bastard son. At least that can happen. So we have Old Volantis. Old Volantis will be our capital for now. We just have this part of New Valero. But we will reconquer the Freehold. We must make... The Freeholds great again. They will all come down before us. And we will make sure to defend it against the Dothraki. In fact, how are the Dothraki doing against the Sarnor? 69% in favor of the Dothraki. So you can see that the Dothraki are kicking ass right now. But it looks as though Ibn is attacking them. And actually, the Ibn are winning. Interesting. So there we go. So the Dothraki are fighting two wars right now. They're so concentrated on the Sarno, they can't really fight back against the Ibn. Um, why is this war about? Tog's war against him. That's it. Huh. Not sure. Is he trying to disband them or something? I'm not sure exactly what the war will gain them. Are you guys getting attacked? No, it's just the color of the land. But you are having a slave raid. Okay. Hasdan. Slave raid. Okay. There's a lot of slave raids going on down here, which, you know, it's it's not surprising. These guys are always involved in slave wars. Yep, just slave wars everywhere. But we, we, we will rebuild the freehold. It has to happen. That is Urion's destiny. I am the Kraken Slayer. Now let's get down to politics. So now control Atlantis from here. It'd be quite easy probably to destroy the other nations and we should probably keep this army because this is an event spawned troops so then 
Our monthly balance is zero. Yeah, that's fine for now. We don't need to be making money. Character owes me a favor. One of my vassals. Title loss in succession. Yeah, we have no uh, children, so of course we're going to have that. Open council positions. So now I have a lot of people now. We actually have a proper council we could probably build. Probably go with some people... You know, obviously these men have been with us, but we need to make sure we can hold this court, hold these lands. We need to keep these people happy. These are the people of Volantis. They need to know that a new Valerian Freehold has come to town, and Urion is their leader, and he will reward those who do him right. So we better just keep them happy. Uh, this guy, Colacor, I think is fine. Because this guy is commander of the Black Wall. Yeah, so he's kind of a lower down one. This guy is kind of more important. Not as good, but still more important. We're going to keep Damon Mertes because, you know, he needs he's my sworn blood brother. We need to keep him with us. Damon and Collio, Veron, Bequo. Again, he's a vassal, so I think I'm just going to give it to him just to keep them happy. Uh, Master of Whispers, you'll probably get a better one now. Then again, most of them seem to hate me. This guy's got 10, though. Belicio Nogaris. Yeah, he actually likes me and he's a 10, so that's one better. Would any of you like me after? You would like me after, though. And you're on a 12. Yeah. And he's a high Valerian. And he's one of my Imperial Generals. You know what? Let's make him it. We could go for that guy. He's at 9. We'll, we'll go with this guy. Damon. He was on the council before. We'll put him back on the council. Court physician, we still do not have. Storm singer, we still have no other storm singers. So that's a shame. Okay, let's go through what they could be doing. Oversee realm, improve defenses, pacify province, improve holding. Let's go for oversee the realm. I guess is the best thing to do for him. Imperial justice here, perform statecraft, relations improved, improve relations, fabricate claims. We don't need to fabricate claims, we have a dragon. Reputation repaired, we probably just need him to do that for now. Just get a general opinion up. You, though, you're in the army because we want your dragon. But would it be better doing something else? Training troops, training my children. We have no children, really. Organize the army. Yeah, I think it would be better just have him as a commander than actually doing one of these things. For you and Mr. Holdings, I collect taxes. We could just collect taxes. Domain improved. Smugglers enters domain. Let's go for collect taxes. Peasants are resistant. It's actually more likely than special teeth collected. Yeah. Okay, let's just go for this then. Master of Whispers, make sure no one's trying to kill me. Yep, because we're not really going against anyone just yet. We're not trying to murder anyone. Okay, I'm happy with my council. Minor titles. We have him as a bodyguard, my sworn brother. Designated Regent is my other sworn brother. Very nice. We have a lot of different titles here, though. Food taster, court musician. Most ones we've seen before. Court Volva. This guy's a powerful seeress that practices... Sejdir, former sorcery, among other things. Huh. I don't remember recognizing that word before. Maybe that's... Hmm. I don't recognize the word. we got commanders and stuff. Okay, good, good, good. Now, men. We have up to 13,000 men that we can get. We should probably reforge our Valerian steel sword. Fire and Sullied. Show dragons. Okay. Fine with that. Now we have our prisoners. What to do with our seven prisons? Now, he is still a vassal. The high city of Volantis. So we're still going to have to deal with him. Tagaros. Now, he obviously hates me. But maybe we should release his kids. And the rest of his family. Or maybe we should make an example of him. For even... Yeah, he's a... we're a rough man. We're going to make an example of him. Just to show that no one goes about doing this type of thing. Should probably kill his wives. Let's execute. Would people be okay with this? Does it upset rulers in New Valeria? Change for it by five. She dies. It would upset them, really? Why? So a quick look. What about if I did it to her? I don't like the fact that before when you used to click it, it used to just take you on to it straight away. Now it doesn't. Going against the will of the council. So they would not let me kill her. Okay. They would not let me kill her, I guess because they're little girls. You can't just kill these little girls. Right, we'll release this guy. He's not important. It makes no difference to us. Execute. We can't execute her. This girl. Can't execute her. And this girl. We can execute her. So 
There's a few of them we can execute. The ones we can't execute, we'll just ransom. Ah, oh, we'll just release them. We'll release the two little girls. We'll keep the other wives actually just in jail. We'll release the two little girls. And which one can I kill? This one, isn't it? And she's one of his wives. So let's do that. We'll do it. Kill her. Um, Your Imperial Majesty, Yinna has been brought before from her cell for execution. How shall she be dispatched? Beheaded, have her hanged, feed her to my dragon. Could be something... I mean, would Orion really do that to make an example of her? Maybe it's a bit too far, you know, because she's, she's just a wife of his, yeah. She'll be beheaded. And she's just a wife of his. If it was him, personally, I would feed him to the dragon. I think that's... He would do that in a very personal way to make a complete example of him. But people would be upset if I killed her. Okay. We'll do it anyway. Beheader. There we go, we beheaded her as well. The other two will keep in the dungeons. Just, you know, for safekeeping. For safekeeping. That, that, that's all. Uh, factions, we don't know what those are going to be like. Okay, so now the only thing for us really to do, if we want, is to reforge a Valerian Seal Sword, which I think we will do. Lose 100 gold. Okay, two blacksmiths have been brought before us. We have a man who's cruel, ambitious. Hmm, he's a bit ambitious. Don't want a man who's ambitious. Humble, honest. He is ruthless. I don't know. That's, uh, that's a difficult one. Let's try again. Try again. We'll go... We want to find some other blacksmiths. Those two I don't completely trust. Luco. Chaste, family person, temperate. But he's dishonorable. Selfish, content, gregarious. No, no. The war's been won. Our enemy's armies have been crushed and the Lord's forces have been defeated. Magister Marcello Tagaros, one of your opponents has been brought before you. I shall judge his family justly. Yeah, we're going to judge him. We have to. Quavo of the defeated royal Tagaros family has been brought before you. What is to be done with him? Release him. Throw him in the dungeons. I should take him as a hostage. Yeah. We'll take his son as a hostage. Quavo will join my court. He brought up to be a man who properly respects the High Valyrians, unlike his father, of course, who can't respect them. Roth, a fine person, rude, interesting man. Craven, zealous, gregarious, rude. Eh, he's not a bad man. He's just, you know, he's, he's just an asshole, but doesn't mean he'll take our sword. I'm going to choose him. Which design would we like? Mother's Grief. No, I don't think that really suits us. Black Death. No, don't see any reason for that. Glory? No, uh, glory seems like a, a good choice when you think about it. I say, I, I could just choose my own name for the Lone Steel Sword, but just choose the picture. That's one thing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose a name I think responds to what he would want. And then maybe we'll give it a different But glory, I think, responds to him a bit. Skin Peeler? No. Del Pino? No. Good Sword? Okay. <laughs> yep, good. it's a good sword. Dornish Kiss? Father's Fury. Talon? No. Jade? Nah. Kingmaker. Kingmaker. Well, we have this guy, when you think about it, he was not a king. He was just a high Valerian who took on the mantle of old Valeria. So we could say he's a kingmaker for himself. Passion? I think King Pillar. Uh, yeah, kingmaker at the moment. Stranger's Touch. Morn Morning Mace. Titan's Bite, no. Dragon Bane. We did kill a dragon and a kraken, but we have our own dragon, so it feels like by calling it Dragon Bane, it's like we want to kill the dragons, which is not what we want. Uh, Finger Eater, Rack a Rack. And that's all of them. I'm thinking Kingmaker, but we can always choose a different name. So I'd love to hear in the comment section below if you think we should name the sword, what do you think we should name it? What do you think we should name this sword? Like I say, we're going to, for the moment, for this part, I'm just going to keep calling it, you know, uh, Kingmaker. At least we have that picture for it, which I think the picture is kind of cool. It's a nice looking Valerian steel sword. But what would you think he would name his own Valerian steel sword? I'd love to hear. If any of them really speak out to me and I think that's a perfect fit, I'll probably take that on. If not, I'll keep the name Kingmaker. The blacksmith has completed his work and presents you with the newly reforged Valerian steel sword. All hell... 
his magnificence. Orion, the House of Verezes, the first of his name, Emperor of the New Valerian Freehold, Great Archon of the Colonies of Old Valeria, Protector of the Free Cities and All the East, Master of the Rhoyne, and Lord of Old Valeria and Old Volantis. All hail the Emperor. Hmm. From the dungeon, I shall have his head. Using this action would unjustly override the Council's right to decide all justice matters. Huh. Okay, so maybe them incur 10 tyranny. He'll be executed. Probably just put him in the dungeon, then can't we just like bring him to court? That's probably the best thing to do. And then we can execute him and feed him to the dragon. Or I could just get a bit of tyranny to begin with. Let me try and think, what would he do? He's very proud. Yeah, I think he's because he's so rough and proud. He's proud of his culture. In fact, he tried to take it on for himself. Yeah, he's going to override that. And I'll feed him to my dragon. You decreed that Marcolo Targaris shall be executed for his crimes. Now he'll make a meal for your dragon, Elenixus. Duly roast the victim with dragon flame on your command. And then devours his charred corpse. Dracarys. That, that's that's my scream. If I was dying from a dragon, that's how I'd scream. So it's the new Magister of the City's election. Okay. Grab the defeated royal family. Um, she's done nothing wrong. We could take all his kids as hostages, but it feels like it's kind of uh, dangerous to keep all the kids. Uh, at least she's done nothing wrong. Let's release the little girls. We'll take the son as the hostage. And this is his brother. So his brother... He's now got the city of Volantis. I shall have his head. No, I think that's going too far. We got the one we wanted. He maybe was not involved at all. He just happens to be his brother. So, release him. His wife. Throw in the dungeon. We got in the dungeon anyway. That's what I was doing to her anyway. He was fed to my dragon. Until the next time. So, great houses have been done. Um, the Lordship of Old Volantis and the Kingdom of Volantis with the Empire of New Valyria. This new empire shall spread its wings and go across all these lands soon. We'll take them all. I'll see you next time.